it's transfer deadline day and you know what that means it's the most changeable day in football it's the fastest moving day in football it's the day where nothing is set in stone especially if you have such insane owners such as ours hello everyone and welcome to this transfer deadline day update video Gia will be back at the end of the day with a full thing giving you the full detailed itemized list of everything that happened today the nitty gritty the ins and outs but let's get into the big news. The thing that has kicked off everything today. I've got a list on my phone of the things that happened. I've got Twitter just in case stuff changes as I record this video. But Said Ben Rama has failed his medical. I say failed because in reality, failure is a semantic term. Um, but there has been a problem. A problem has come up and it is believed to be his blood results. Now, I'm no doctor. I'm no doctor. I'm no ITK. If we're being honest, I'm barely awake most of the time. So I don't really understand the full thing. When I see a medical, I see the guy running on the treadmill. He's got the thing stuck to him. He's got the thumbs up. That's all I understand about medicals. I don't know the ins and outs of it, right? But he's apparently believed to be failing his blood results or something has come up with his blood results. Now, David Sullivan, as you would expect, is not happy about this. And he's gone back to Brentford to try and restructure the deal. Now, how is he restructuring the deal? Let's finish the sentence together, shall we? David Sullivan loves blank loan to buy offers that's right ladies and gentlemen he has gone back to brentford and he's going low um and brentford have gone no they, <laughs> they don't want it to happen they're unhappy about this brentford's argument is that he's played nearly 100 games in the past two seasons if he was going to break down because of this he would have already broken down because of this so you can't really be changing the deals up last second We'll get into it in a bit, but I think both people have arguments here. Um, but we'll get into it in a second. But there has been a breakdown, basically, between the two clubs. Brentford B were meant to be facing, uh, or a Brentford B team was meant to be facing, West Ham United today in a, in a, in a behind-closed-doors friendly. Um, that's no longer going ahead, because obviously everyone's unhappy. Um, it's, it's a fast-moving thing. So these things I'm about to quote are... Uh, sort of been said over the last hour or so so it could change but um jacob steinberg from the guardian saying the deal isn't off but he believes it's now unlikely um x of twitter and david ornstein of the athletic are saying it's still likely to happen i'm refreshing twitter as we go just to sort of check what's going on um the deadline is 5 p.m the deadline is in about two hours from this point um if anything's going to happen, a shift on is going to have to occur somewhere along the line. Um, David Moyes just had his press conference. He said that the, the medical hasn't been failed. It's still ongoing, but he was hopeful that something would occur and they would sign Cyber and Rama. Um, what was the other one? I've just seen Graham Bailey, who is also a journalist, has said that um, we are trying to currently renegotiate the deal due to the medical. Um, Brentford aren't keen and this is the important thing which we're about to get onto as well he said that West Ham are now looking at Josh King again um, and another person being considered although no bid is in at this time is Islam Islamani Saar Sa Sa sorry I cannot speak the Watford player I've only just woken up to be fair um, Alex Crook another journalist has said that um, yeah, during Thomas Frank, who's Brentford's manager's press conference today, he said that the deals, the talk is still ongoing, and he believes that if one happens now, it's likely to be a loan with an obligation to buy. Um, and he also followed up Alex Rook again, saying that there has currently been zero contact from West Ham to Bournemouth. So there you go. Josh King is apparently back on. I've been told that he's making his way to London now to see if he can sort this deal out. Um, <laughs> it's insane the whole thing is insane I mean this is why you do not leave deals till the last second because it can go significantly wrong like that it's it's we've had two months we've had two months to try and figure this whole deal out to try and get here and yet here we are on deadline day with two hours to go trying to change the deal from 25 million rising to 30 or 18 rising to 30 no matter who you believe to a loan deal with an obligation to buy i mean call me cynical but i don't think david sullivan is unhappy with this result the thing is with this whole thing right i'm just checking just to see if anything's changed here the thing is with this whole deal is that <sighs> why 
if you we just had two months we've had two months to figure this out we've had two months to get to this point to try and side Ben Rock and it's not even as if we've been trying to sign all of these other left wingers we've been trying this one that one pow 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 it's not even like the centre back issue where we tried for a hundred and then we ended up signing Dawson no we all knew from the beginning of the window that Ben Rama was basically the highest on the list and yet somehow it's taking us two months to get to the stage where on deadline day about five hours before the deadline day is over we get told oh actually there's a blood problem in his thing they do it earlier you knew this was going to happen look going back to Brentford now and saying oh let's change the deal now we all know how difficult oh do you know what? I was going to say Brentford are difficult they're not difficult they just know what their players are worth and they're going to get it you come to Brentford and go I want to buy Ollie Watkins you say you need to give us the 30 million or whatever Villa paid for him or you go away we're not interested we know how much the players worth we're going to get that amount of money it's Nuts. I mean, the loan with obligation to think, right? What's the difference between buying a player now for the money or buying the player in a year for the money? You're just postponing it. If you're Brentford, do you take that deal? First of all, I'd probably be a bit pissed off and say, get out. But, I mean, if they're confident that he's not, it's not going to be a problem, which they are. I mean, he's played almost 100 games in two seasons. That is their argument. They look at it and they say, well, if he was going to break down, he would have. He's played almost 100 games then maybe you do take it, but it's such a... <sighs> talk about... But I mean, David Sullivan is he's unreal at burning bridges. I've never seen a man so good at burning bridges. Do you know what I mean? He just, he just sees a bridge, and he's like, how about we burn that bridge? Brentford are one of the best clubs at finding talent. One of the best. Look how many of their players keep coming out of that club, moving for big fees. They go in and get another one who continues to success the club. They keep pushing for promotion. They keep almost getting there. They're a club who we're constantly linked with their players. If you want to buy, if you ever want to deal with those people again, don't do this. We know this from the William Carvalho deal. This is the sort of nonsense you do. Now, they're trying to... In my head, David Sullivan pulls a power play. He goes, well, we've all had Josh King on the back. We're going to go to Josh King then. If you don't give us what we want, we're off to Josh King. We, If we do not conclude this deal ASAP, we will loan a player from PSG. You know, we'll go, We're off to... It's that again. We'll off, we're off to, to Josh King. But he supposedly wasn't happy about how much Josh King was asking for in wages and that his agent's fees were too high. They're not exactly in a bad position now, are they, you dipstick? <laughs> what are they going to do now? They could turn around and go, well, you're desperate. 100k, please. Cheers. Now, we obviously know Josh King is desperate to leave Bournemouth. He's basically said as much in the paper. I think he said he was 110% sure that he would have left Bournemouth before the window was done or whatever so it's not like he doesn't want to leave but at the same time it's not exactly a strong negotiating position to be put in is it i don't know if you'd ask me now what is most likely i think i, I think ben rama if brentford agreed to it i'd be shocked but at the same time maybe i mean ben rama is very clear he wants to leave they've had a lot of problems trying to get him uh trying to trying to agree terms for him to leave so clearly that's like not a great thing like the negotiations breaking down between the two clubs and anger being thrown about is not a good sign but i think the most likely thing now is we sign ben rama next down is we sign neither of them then josh king and then literally no one else is marley slar nah slar's not happening um not at this stage there's no way in two hours david sullivan can agree a fee to sign flipping is not is lamani slar but that's where we're at. That is where we're at. Um, I am un. I, I, uh, it's one of those situations where I wish it was the end of the day, so I knew what had happened. Um, but I, I don't think anything's going to happen in this one. I think it's done. I think we just move on with our lives. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Is things going to happen? Will we sign Ben Rama? Will we end up signing Josh King? Will we sign Isar? Will we sign no one? I think it's that one. Um, but let me know in the comments below. Like I said, Gio will be back at the end of the day once he gets back from work to fully break it down, to give you an itemised list of everything that happened, to sort of tell you the ins and outs, because he's a smarter man than I am, let's be real. Um, thank you all for watching. If you've enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new around here so you don't miss that good video and any other videos coming up. I mean, we've got Tottenham on Sunday. We've got Tottenham on Sunday. <laughs> oh, make sure you don't miss any of that. Come on, your irons, all of that stuff. Uh... David Sullivan, start believing things to the last minute, you idiot. It's not complicated. <laughs>